Right there. Is it rolling? Yeah. All right. So I just ran through a couple exercises with those movements. I did uh, basically retreating and looking back, so you know, providing cover. If you're doing it in a group. And then I did advancing and dropping and then, you know, recovering, recovering my footing and advancing again. So what you notice with those is you'll see the side of my body is pretty, pretty filthy. So instead of going right down to my knees and down to my elbows, I'm rolling on the soft tissue of my body, so the thick muscles. So I'm not injuring any joints or bony surfaces or anything like that, bony protuberances. So I'll do a little breakdown here. So when I was running forward and then dropping to look back, what I was doing, I was basically doing a pistol squat. So if you're not familiar with the pistol, a pistol is kind of a one-legged squat, but instead of doing it as an exercise, kind of letting it sort of pull me to the ground and then I'm just rolling on my side and I'm rolling over threading this leg through and then I'm in the prone where I can shoot and then come back rolling back to my side I'm taking a look at where I'm going I want to make sure it's safe I'm going to chamber this leg and use it for momentum. Now, I'm in my shin box. I have a video about the shin box exercise. Very good for hip mobility. And it's a foundation for a lot of these movements on and off the ground. So I'm in my shin box. And then I'm just stepping off the ground. So again, do my pistol. And incidentally, all through these, speaking of pistols, same thing with long guns too. I get both hands on it at all times, just to demonstrate that point. That you don't need your hands to get on and off the ground with these. So, incidentally, I have muzzle discipline at all times. My muzzle's pointing upward. So if I'm moving with a group, if we're providing cover, I'm not flagging my friend and risking a friendly fire hazard. And if I'm providing protection to someone, I'm not flagging them either. So again, I'm doing my pistol, I'm coming down on one leg. This one's almost swinging like a pendulum, sort of tucking me into the ground. And then I roll on that leg, and I roll on my side. For guys who are familiar with it, it's the PLS, the parachute landing fall. So I'm down, then I can look back, roll to my side, bring the gun so I can sight it. Now I'm in the prone. I'm going to come back and roll back to my side on the soft tissue, maintain my muzzle discipline. I'm going to look down the direction I'm going, make sure it's safe chamber this leg, kick it out for momentum, and I'm in my shin box. And from there, I'm up off the ground. So, basics of that. Then, when I was advancing forward and dropping, same kind of thing. And you can do these ambidextrously, incidentally. I kept it in my right hand. Um, like I said, I wasn't scripting the video, so didn't take that into consideration. But anyway, so with the advance, instead of going to the knees and then the elbows, banging those joints up, I'm going to use a soft tissue. So what I did, I was running forward, I came to a knee very lightly, and I just rolled onto this whole side. So I came down, got my gun forward, ready to sight it in, 
come down and prone and take a shot. To recover the back to the side, muzzle up. I can take a look back, get my awareness, my orientation, chamber the leg, kick it out. And I'm on my way. So one more time. I'll show it from the other side. You don't have to come down hard on his knee, you can even kind of hover it. Do a little touch, come down. On the side, on the soft tissue. I'm rolling the prone, sighting the gun ready to take my shot. Back to my side, muzzle up, get oriented, chamber the leg. Kick. Use that rotation to come up. Do it one more time. So, running forward, knee, side. I'm getting oriented, getting my sights back. I'm on my side. I'm prone. I'm sighted in. Ready to shoot. Back to my side, muzzle up, get oriented behind me, chamber the leg, kicking up, and on my way. So, that's the basics of it. Something you have to keep practicing. I highly recommend the system movements that I have. You can check my channel for those. One thing I did want to mention for these movements is that if you're involved in the military, police department, and you do competitions or you just do training where there are time trials where you have to run, get to the ground and take a shot, and then maybe do that several more times. These movements have been tested. They've been shown to take time off in time trials, even as much as a tenth or a twentieth of a second, just for one sprint one drop to the ground and one shot. So competitions are won and lost in less time than that. Um, a lot of different um, kind of special operations, you know, elements, and, you know, even you know, SWAT groups around the country have been getting interested in Sistema for this reason because it allows you to work later into your career, do this work later into your career and for your body to feel better. So you're not getting all beat up basically getting bummed out because you're hurt and you, know, you can't do what you want to be doing. That's the big thing with Sistema's, feeling healthy and maintaining your body and actually getting healthy and more capable as the years go on. So if you like this video, please hit like and uh, subscribe to my channel and feel free to contact me or leave comments if you have any questions. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.